Good morning, lovely Zoe Chudas here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today we're getting into how to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go on your phone to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee on the Switch. So it's a pretty simple setup process uh, and a pretty smooth little uh, interaction and transfer. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is on the Switch. Using your controller, you're going to want to go to your main menu here. And you're going to want to go to Options, which is the Y button or shaking the Pokeball Plus if you're using the Pokeball. Uh, you want to open up Pokemon Go Settings. So click on that one there. There's a little notification letting you know there's going to be communication between the two programs. And yes, I would like to pair my uh, game with the Switch. So jumping over onto the phone now, uh, you can see here if you go to the Settings, and scroll all the way down to the Nintendo Switch. If I tap on Nintendo Switch there and it will have the option there to connect to Nintendo Switch. So if I tap on that one, it will search up and it'll prompt me then on the Switch saying, hey, Zoe 2 dots account has been found. Would you like to pair this with your game? And yes, I certainly would. The pairing has been complete and these two accounts are now linked. So you can do this pretty much at any point in the game. Like as soon as you start the game, you can link up, but you can't transfer immediately. So what you're going to need to do is to get to the point in the game where you get to Fuchsia City. So if I show you on the map here, it is where I'm currently standing. That is Fuchsia City. So it's uh, quite a little ways through the game. I've been playing for over 10 hours now, probably pushing into the 15 hour mark potentially. I have been taking my time in some areas, but this isn't really early on in the game at all. Essentially, you're looking at getting to Fuchsia City after you pass the Lavender Town portion of the story. In Fuchsia City, you're going to want to come to the uh, Go Park Complex. And I'm going to head inside here and just wait for a second. So on my phone, back on the phone for Pokemon Go, what I'm going to do is tap on the switch icon up here at the top of the menu and I'm going to select some Pokemon to send across. I'm going to send across something that I've already got in game for the moment, uh, just so it's not registering something new to the Pokédex. So let's just grab a Pikachu. And let's grab a male Nidoran and a female Nidoran and we'll go send to switch. So it's going to give you some notifications here that uh, something's happening. You know, you, once this transfer is done, it can't be undone. You're moving things from your phone to the switch and it cannot be reversed. So I accept these terms and conditions uh, and it will let you know as well that you should not and do your best to not lose communication uh, either to the internet or to the console. If your phone power dies or if the console uh, power dies, you could lose these Pokemon uh, indefinitely. If you do get stuck, there is a link in the description as well to a support thread uh, and for support and troubleshooting with transferring Pokemon to Pokemon Let's Go. So I'm saying OK on that and it will say that it is searching for a Nintendo Switch. And then in the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to go over to this guy at the back here and he's going to say, welcome to the park complex. What would you like to do? I would like to uh, bring some Pokemon across. So I'm going to bring them across to park number one because that's nice and easy. It's going to give me another little notification there and you can transfer 50 more Pokemon to Go Park 1. Sure, that is perfectly fine. Plenty of space in that one. And it's going to start searching for my account. So Two Dots' account has been found. Would you like to receive the Pokemon? Yes, I certainly would. And if everything goes smoothly, we'll get this nice little animation on both ends here. And there we go. I've transferred those three Pokemon across. That's a really cute animation, actually. I really enjoy that. So I can say okay on the phone, the Pokemon was sent and I actually get a bonus in Pokemon Go and I've got my mystery box. This is the item that we'll need to get Meltan spawning in Pokemon Go. So we're going to go into that one a little bit later in a different video, but pretty much to get a mystery box, you need to transfer Pokemon to Pokemon Let's Go. Thankfully, you can transfer to a friend's account. So if you don't have a copy of the game yourself, you can transfer to a friend. At the moment, this is the only way to get a mystery box, but in the future, who knows, there could be different things rolling out that we don't even know about. So I'm going to accept that one there and we're done. I can put the phone away for now. Back on the switch, I'm going to enter Go Park. So I'm going to enter that first park there. And essentially to bring these Pokemon into my game, I need to recatch them. So for the moment, they're just going to be hanging around in this park here. But if I want to actually bring them into my game, I need to find them and catch them. So as you guys can see, the park is quite large itself. Like these have got an enormous amount of space. And I would say that that is to, you know, house in case you wanted to transfer across, you know, 50 Onyx. So they're not all crammed into one tiny paddock. But here we go. We can see the Pokemon interacting together. But let's grab this Pikachu here. And I would like to catch this one. So if you catch a Pokemon in Go Park, the Pokemon's information will be changed from what it was in Pokemon Go. Is that okay? I.e. it's just saying here there's going to be a stats reroll. Uh, so if you transferred across 100% Pikachu, it's not going to stay a 100% IV Pikachu in this game. So I'm going to get ready and catch this one. 
Excellent. So the Pikachu has been caught successfully there. Uh, oh my Pokemon, I fainted. Please don't look at that. I need to heal up. And the Pokemon has been added to my Pokemon box to my regular storage in the game. So it's been removed from Go Park and it is now uh, in. If I go to, if I then go to my Pokemon storage, I can see that Pikachu here, that level 10 Pikachu has been caught and just added to my stack of things. So happy days. That is how you transfer from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. Also, just to quickly add as well, yes, you can transfer shiny Pokemon to Let's Go. Uh, no, you cannot transfer Mew to Let's Go. The only way to get Mew at the moment is through the Pokeball Plus. It comes preloaded onto the Pokeball Plus device. You can't transfer your Mew from Go to Let's Go. You can transfer shinies, you can transfer legendaries, you can't transfer sunglasses, squirtle, wartortle, and blastoise, and you can't transfer any of the hatted pikachus. But otherwise, feel free to start transferring some of those excess shinies across as well. If they're not really serving any physical function in Pokemon Go, you might as well bring them into Let's Go so you can flex and actually use them in battle. So another thing you can do in the park is to, if you have 25 of one species of Pokemon, in one of your parks, you can play a special mini game. So I haven't played that game yet. I'm going to get into that now. I've just transferred across 25 Mewtwo's. Um, these Mewtwo's were all ones that I would have transferred or traded away anyway. So I might as well bring them into Let's Go. So let's try out this mini game now and enter the play yard. So our 25 Mewtwo's here. So this may seem a little bit obscene. But I have an abundance of Mewtwo's that I don't need. It's actually going to take me longer to transfer them individually. It's going to take me longer to special trade them away every single day for the next 20 days. So let's transfer them to Pokemon Let's Go. So the goal of the minigame is to guide them towards the entrance of the park. Something that you can do with Pikachu's as well is to actually like you kind of scoop them up with the smaller Pokemon. I've seen a couple of minigames for this of Pikachu, which is super adorable. But these little Mewtwo's, we're going to get their attention. Oh, and we're going to try and take them to the entrance of the park here. So other Pokemon will try to get in your way as well and stop you from being the fastest that you can be. Let's see how quick we can do this one. Ah, 30 seconds left. No. Come on, there's like one more somewhere. Is it just you? Is it just you or is there more? Come with me. <laughs> Success completed. That was a uh, pretty long time for those ones. The other Pokemon do try to get in your way and distract the Mewtwo's or distract, distract the uh, Pokemon you're trying to collect there. So 130 points. I got a smart candy, that's kind of cute. A cute little reward for a fun little mini game there, so. That is it guys, that is how you get Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. This is the perfect opportunity to clear out some space in your storage in Pokemon Go. So if your Pokemon Go storage is getting really tight, this is the perfect opportunity to transfer them out, clear yourself some space. Those special Pokemon that you've had with you throughout the game are still going to be safe in your Nintendo Switch. And you can bring them along to battle alongside you in this game as well. So I hope this video has been informative. If you are new, be sure to subscribe for Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go content. Hit the like button if this was informative for you. And leave a comment which Pokemon are you most excited to transfer from your Pokemon Go to your let's go. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.